film, the filming of this movie was my first time in Afghanistan. Um, you know, I deployed to Iraq earlier and thought I kind of knew what war was like and kind of thought I had an understanding of that. So going over there, I wasn't too worried, but it's a completely different fight from Iraq, completely different uh, enemy and completely different terrain. So it was very, very new for me. They told me I was going to the Korngal Valley. I really didn't uh, didn't read anything up on it. I didn't want to. I wanted to go in there with an open mind. The colonel told me initially they take fire every single day. I was like, God, how the hell do you take fire every single day from somebody? You got to go out there and go kill the damn enemy. Quit being you know scared. Go out there and get them. And the colonel and I came up with, you know, what we thought was going to be our campaign plan, and that uh, after two months of being there, I would fix it, and that we wouldn't get shot at anymore. When the boys built that base, Taliban or the AAF forces in the valley, they were completely in shock. It was like a middle finger sticking out. And they realized once they could not knock off OP or Strepo, we had the upper hand. They started becoming afraid. I can't even sleep, honestly. I've been on about four or five different types of sleeping pills. And them. That's how bad the nightmares are. Not dream about it, then sleep and just see the picture in my head is Pretty bad. Pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's um, you know a platoon uh, within my company, and their 15-month deployment. One scene ensues. Uh, all the highs and lows. Uh, what happens while they're in the fight? What happens in between fights? Say a prayer. Say a few words in your head, and you move on. And then offers, you know, the guys insights uh, throughout rather than having some kind of narrator from the sky uh, narrating the story. It's kind of the boys telling telling their story and telling their version of it. So there's no misinterpretation. Uh, and so the boys really get get their point across and get what it is that they went through across so that America and whoever else sees this really has a better appreciation for what it is that they're doing over there. When I went back there to Afghanistan, um, the focus of the public's concern and interest was Iraq, and Afghanistan was completely overlooked. And when I got there, w there was an amount of combat there that was just staggering. I mean, there were, I think, it's a, the, the Korangal Valley is six miles long, and I think the men there were in 500 firefights in one year. No one back in the United States knew, very few people knew that it, the combat was so intense. Chosen Company, One Valley Over, had a casualty rate of 80%. Eight out of 10 guys were killed or wounded. But as soon as I got there, I realized there was a huge story and it was completely overlooked. And um, in some ways, I felt that the ramifications of failure in Afghanistan were greater than in Iraq and ultimately it was a more important story. The men over there, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy. I mean, I, I just love them to death. Uh, they're like my little, little brothers, and they did an outstanding job and did more than I could have ever hoped or, or asked from them.